hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be going back to our series of ranking AP friends and we are on the year 2017. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody noticed last year but I only posted one ranking AP, one episode of the ranking AP series putting us a little bit far behind on catching up with our, with our rankings and I was I was kind of wondering why that was I was like oh I was probably just too busy 2016 had a lot of different stuff so I was a little bit drained so I was like maybe that's the reason and then I took a look at what was in 2017 and then I was like uh oh <laughs> I was just like Maybe there's something there. Maybe there's something there. Cause 2017 is a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie, straight out. There's just something about this year that was just a little, just so uninspiring. You're gonna hear a lot of me say, like compare, I'm doing a lot of like comparison in my little reviews of each print because I feel like they really just kind of like used up all their creativity in 2016 and we're just kind of like going by the book. So we'll talk about it more as we go on, but yeah, let's get into those rankings of 2017. And to start off our year, we're going to be talking about British Keys, which British Keys is a poly print. I'm going to start that off right now. 2017 is when we get a lot more poly. Yeah, but it's a polyester print. It's got British keys. I was pretty much all I can say about it. It's very reminiscent of another print, Lucky Key, and then Rosette Collection. So I just felt like between all these prints, they just look so similar. I'm just like, there's nothing really nuanced, nothing add. I do like the kind of library, little library kind of cut of the OP. But other than that, there's really, there's like nothing wrong with it, but there's also nothing like new or fun or exciting about that I would like fight in a bloodbath over this dress over. So I gave it a three out of five, just kind of to be fair, but yeah, I would not own this dress. And our next print is Jewelry Snow, which is a polyester mix, I believe. It is, it's not, it's not terrible. It's kind of got, you know, winter motifs, this very simple kind of like snowflake kind of print. It's, I, the cuts are okay, the colorways are okay, however, in like half the colorways you can't even see the snowflakes, which is kind of what is the point. There's another like cross print that does that as well, like the crosses are outlined in white and the rest of the print is solid, which is kind of like, it's a it's a good strategy however on certain colorways it does get lost so i think the best like looking colorways for this print are the blue and then the sacks as well but yeah i think i just gave it a standard like three out of five and i would not like to own it however there was a point in 20 so i think that i considered buying this dress i was i think there was like I think it was like for the Yule Ball or something. It might have been like the re-release in 2018 or something, but yeah, I just remember almost buying this because I wanted something like Lolita to wear to the dance, but also not, I didn't want to be like too obvious about it. And I feel like this is one more of those like subtle, that screams kind of like more fancy holiday rather than like technically Lolita. Yeah, but I, I, would, I wouldn't want to own it now, that's for sure. And our next print is Kronos Utopia, which I, I feel like I've seen this one around. I, I consider it Misty Skies fancier cousin. I don't really see anything. It's mostly just clouds, but the little kind of gold, like their little golden clock, their little like little gold details that kind of differentiate it from Misty Sky, which is good. However, it feels like I have the same problem, I think, with Misty Sky, where it's a very, like, simple print, but I feel like there's not, like, a whole lot to, like, it's, it's, I'm sure a lot, there's a lot of people who have, like, good Misty Sky chords, good Kronos Utopia chords. It's just feel like it's got a little bit of a hard kind of 
leaping off point to chord build off of and I'm not sure how like kind of versatile these prints are because of their simplicity if that makes sense I know like it's it's, it's a bit hard to explain <laughs> but it's kind of like harder to chord because of its simplicity so I did give it a four out of five because it is a very lovely print and I love the addition of like gold details so four out of five but would I own it unfortunately not the colorways I think are just a little too like not in my wardrobe like they fit I think with the print it's just not like doesn't fit with my wardrobe and our next print is lovely snow fantasy which is a chiffon print and okay if it was in cotton but also just on its own like I feel like I haven't taken like a closer look at this print ever because it's like a winter like Christmassy print and I'm not like super about those but I'm like like I was like okay okay I see you I see you the colorways like the the colorways and the cuts are just fantastic for this uh, I'm a little iffy on the JSK but the like fur collar of the and like the buttons oh my god the buttons the fur collar and the buttons on this I'm just like hello and I love the little like glass apples with like the diorama of like different animals inside the glass apples I was just like okay so yes I gave it a five out of five and I would actually I wouldn't mind adding this one to my wardrobe and our next print's going to be fairy rose princess which is a polyester dress I've never heard of this print I've never seen this print I, I don't know her but I would like to know her because oh my god uh, it's just very like I wouldn't say simple it's kind of got like ribbons and roses is just kind of one of those one of those motifs that are kind of it's hard to go wrong it's hard to go wrong with ribbons and roses and they've got like a princess style of course I'm not the biggest fan of kind of like the orientation of the ribbons on the bodice but I like how they did add like real like real ribbons to and to like counteract the bottom on the border print like they put little real ribbons in there kind of like the fake ones leading into the real ones which I really liked but yeah I gave this one a five out of five and yes I would like to own this dress it's like hello 2017 sleeper hit please hit me up hit me up <laughs> and our next print's going to be toy circus I almost said toy march right there because this print, like, it's, it's good, don't get me wrong, but haven't we seen it before in Toy March? And I know there are other circus prints that give off these very, very similar vibes. Like, it's fine, but it's not really doing something completely new. It's like the same characters even, I feel like, the same art style, the same, like, I think the only thing different really kind of about it is like the cuts and like the presentation a little bit I think toy circus has little cameos while in toy march they're a little bit more freewheeling but yeah this is a polyester dress I believe it is like it's 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 fine I gave it a four out of five only because like toy march I believe here let me put my grade up for toy march yeah toy march was still pretty good I just feel like it's really not doing anything different which is going to be like kind of the theme of this year. Like, I, it's, it's fine, but it's not doing anything new or creative, which is a bummer after 2016 kind of did a lot of things that were out of the box. Not all of them good, but it was doing a lot more things a little bit out of the box. So I was more inclined to, I was more excited about that year. But yeah, it's, I would probably not like to own this one only because I don't know if it doesn't really fit in my wardrobe I do really like the black JSK it, it kind of slaps <laughs> but I believe I said I would not like to own this one and our next dress is going to be Queen Chocolate which if the name implies it's AP chocolate print however chess chocolate anyone chocolate quartet anyone it's like I just said after Toy Circus. It's like, it's 
And of course, Queen Chocolate. I think the special set was like a princess cut, but I'm like, you're not gonna do a princess cut like for the normal kind of OP for this one. It's just like, like there's a way to do, like if he's done it before, there's a way to do like similar motifs, but in a different way. I just feel like this isn't different enough. Like, I think I still gave it like, cotton at least, it's our first cotton hit of 2017. It, but I feel like, yeah, it's just, it's like, it's, not, I can't rate it low because it's just, it's like a fine print, but like, it's once again, just repeating the beats of what we've seen before, like the hits we've seen before, like Chess Chocolate. So I believe I did give this one a four out of five, but I'm, I would not like to own any of these dresses. <laughs> and our next print is going to be holiday collection which they were like shoveling out the christmas prints the holi the winter holiday prints for 2017 and this one just really just it's very blah just like british keys it's just kind of like i can't i would prefer this kind of as like a border print like having just the plain part be kind of like checkered with maybe like a little scattered picture frame here and there and then have it as a border print for like the cameos it but and maybe a little teddy bear mixed in too but i'm just like as it stands i don't think the execution i feel like also going forward i feel like i'm gonna be like it would be a slapper if they did this and this and this kind of fixing up their mistakes but yeah i think i just i like british keys i also gave this one a three out of five and i would not like to own it and our next print is going to be Lovely Shopping, which is chiffon. It, okay, I know it's a little bit of a dumpster fire, but hear me out, guys. I can fix it pretty easily. I'm mad that this is kind of like a Valentine's Day print because it has very much cute potential, but I think like girly sticker, it kind of, they put a little bit too much in there. They got to take it back. I would take out a lot of the gray and the black elements and just make it kind of more reds and pinks and whites like kind of how valentine's day is and then i would change the cut of the op that's for sure but yeah as it stands unfortunately i'm gonna have to give it a two out of five it's it's not it's not good as it stands with a little bit of fixing though it could be great and i would not like to own this please Never. Get that get that away from me. <laughs> and our next print is Halloween Treats, which is a chiffon and it is so cute. I love the little spooky cookies, the ghost bag. <laughs> Hello, sir. I need you in my wardrobe. <laughs> I I love this print. I love kind of spooky Halloween prints much more than Christmas prints. But yeah, I would have liked to actually see, like, I'm not a big fan of the OP, and of course I own the OP, <laughs> but I, I would have liked to kind of see more, like, kind of, I would have liked to actually kind of see this as a border print, kind of more presented, similar to like Spooky Party or Wonder Cookie even, kind of like, because it has that similar cookie style to Wonder Cookie, I feel like. It'd be a really cute border print, but that's just, that's just my opinion. And of course, I'm still gonna give it a five out of five because the colorway is slap. I love the wine. I have the special like wine colorway, and it's just yeah, it's just a cute print. I want the ivory JSK so bad. Uh, the ivory JSK like ah. <laughs> Someday, but yes, yeah, Spooky Treats is going to get a 5 out of 5 from me. And our next print's going to be Cream Cookie Parade, which is unfortunately not Cream Cookie Collection. <laughs> like, I think it's fine. I think the colorways are fine. I like the cuts of the JSK. Uh, it's just, it's, just, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, you know, like a lot of these by, by the books, but I believe I still give it a 4 out of 5. I just wouldn't like to own it. I don't think it would fit in like my wardrobe at all, but yeah, but it's very much by the books. Not terrible though. And our next print is going to be Sweet Bakery, which 
I have one note in my book, which is, how did you make Petite Patisserie even worse? One out of five. And I think that says it all. Do we even need to talk about this? One out of five. How did you make Petite Patisserie even worse? And next we have Fancy Whip, which is polyester. And finally, something not completely hideous. Like, I feel like the cuts and the colorways could use a little bit of work, but it's not like completely terrible. So I believe we gave this one a four out of five. I still wouldn't like to own it though. I feel like it's not, not exactly for me, but it's still, it's still barely pretty cute. Pretty cute. All right, and the next dress is going to be Creamy Cherry, which is chiffon, and it's a bit basic. You know how all cherry prints, I feel like, kind of have been, except for Cherry Stamp or Cherry Bear Bunny. Yeah, all cherry prints that AP does, does this kind of like thing that I've been talking about with 2017 especially. Like, I suppose, like, one or two dresses in the past have done it. It just feels like almost every dress in 2017 has done it, which is why I feel like this has felt like a lazy kind of year where they're not even trying. But yeah, I really like how the belt actually in the OP makes it not a sack dress. I really like that aspect actually. Like the cuts are really cute. The colorways are really cute. It would make a pretty good Valentine's Day dress, like the pink colorway or the red one. But yeah, I believe I gave it a four out of five? Four out of five. It's obviously I wouldn't give it a five out of five because cherry prints that just follow chiffon, cherry, just cherry nothing basic but like i think this is called like creamy cherry i feel like it should have had like i would have liked to see something more like a melty berry princess like something in along the lines of that kind of style but with cherries because i feel like we haven't seen that in like a very long time so i felt like it would have been a good opportunity but no we just went with like boom slap cherry on a plain background cherry print <laughs> like no we need something new with cherry prints please but yeah i still give it a four out of five only mostly because i like the cuts and the color <laughs> i'm gonna be real but yes i actually would like to own this one i feel like i do like the ivories too the ivory is a good color but I, yeah i just the belt really kind of like sold me instead of being like a sack dress it could still have a little definition even though it's chiffon like they didn't go the chiffon sack dress route which I really liked about that one and the belt's removable so you did something <laughs> you did something there I and our next dress is going to be daydream bed and so a daydream bed is kind of I feel like it's cute I really like the colors I just feel like one it's polyester it could be cotton <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of my like alterations with a with a one of these dresses make it cotton <laughs> but yeah well thing is especially with beds what what, what would I want to sleep on bed cotton sheets or polyester sheets so with this one cotton is kind of like I feel like a big big thing but I feel like with daydream bed it could like it kind of is like open border I would have rather they closed off the beds maybe have like a curtain situation kind of going like a cute overskirt would be nice I think they just they don't like there's nothing added onto it I feel like it could be a lot better because I feel like the overskirt and then the lace at the bottom I was thinking could be like a little okay well this dream marine doesn't do it but I think the regular oh wait aquarium princess does it it has like a kind of like lace border that is kind of like rippled so I feel like it's kind of like or it's kind of like folded kind of like a curtain situation so I feel like a longer kind of lace that kind of like would simulate like a curtains would also be good kind of like or like a bed skirt I feel like that would be really cute but it's overall like not terrible let me check the notes I believe I give this yeah, yeah a three out of five so like I feel like it's not stand out but it's not like terrible, terrible. I feel like it does have a lot of good elements. I like the colors. The print itself is pretty cute. I just feel like it could just with a little bit of work be at least a four out of five out of, or a five out of five. But yeah, I would not like to own this one, I think, unless 
they come out with like a special version that has all my alterations to it. <laughs> but yep, four out of five. Oh wait, no, three out of five, sorry. Four out of five is only for the good ones. We're, we're not there. <laughs> Our next print is going to be Romantic Cat, which Romantic Cat is so cute. It's got a kind of a, like a bit of a w different art style for AP. I really like the style of the OP. The OP is really cute. There's a lot of little details kind of hidden in the dress that I really like, but it's like my least favorite of the AP cat prints, but that's that's not saying much because AP, oh, AP cat prints slap. Cat's tea party, whimsical vanilla chan, princess cat. I'm just like, I feel like they've I've ranked every cat print five out of five. So I'm gonna rank this one a five out of five too. Romantic cats gets a five out of five. I think it's the only downside is it's probably poly and it, I would prefer it in cotton but that's that's not a part of our ranking series not <laughs> we're talking prints mostly so the fact that it is poly is not like the biggest detriment to it so I'm giving it a five out of five and our next print is going to be fancy hospital which is polyester print I've seen this one in person before I really like it the colors really work together I know Usually I feel like Lolita, when it does the medical theme, it always tends to like lean towards like Minihara, just like blood, and I'm like, I'm not about that in my Lolita fashion, so I just kind of like the cutesy little details of it, and yeah, the cuts are really cute. It's just, yeah, it all works together, so I believe I gave it a 4 out of 5. And would I like to own it? I've actually had this one on my wish list a couple times. Sometimes when I see it on like lace market, I'll be like, ooh. But I feel like it's never taken like priority is kind of what like a lot of these dresses are cute. Like, but I feel like a lot of these 2017 dresses have never taken priority. Like if I see it in the wild, I'll be like, oh, that's cute. I want to have it in my wardrobe eventually, but it's never taken priority. And I feel like Fancy Hospital is like the most prime example out of this year of dresses that I'm like, ooh, but also I'm just like, mm, not, not yet. Cute, but not yet. And our next dress is going to be Mademoiselle de Paris. And it is the chiffon dress and is actually the dresses I talked about this in the last segment. It is the actual kind of regular print to Lady Milk and Lady Coco, which I talked about last time because they were just so ridiculous and they were technically a print dress, but I believe this is the actual like normal version of those dresses. And I gotta say it's pretty cute, pretty standard. It does that like black accent thing that I'm not a fan, not like too big a fan of. I believe it does it on like Cinema Doll, Sweet Girl Room. A couple of other dresses have done this kind of like harsh black mixed with like pastels. We call it the bittersweet back in the day. But yeah, I was never really like a fond of that. I feel like the black just kind of stands out a little too much. And so I believe I give this one a three out of five. Like I still feel like the black colorway definitely is cute, but I feel like eh, it's just not like it's not like, it's not like Lady Milk and Lady Coco, which at least they were a little bit loud and having fun with it. There's just really nothing to these cuts that are like, woo, that would kind of elevate the print, is what I'm saying. Yeah, so I gave it a 3 out of 5, and I don't think I'd like to own this one. And our next print is Dreamy Perfume, which I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to compare it again to, like, Glass Milk Teal, or glass tear glass bottle of my tears <laughs> that's the one which I compared to having similar vibes to sheep's garden but of course they did something different with the cuts and the colorways that I felt like there was enough kind of different about like there was enough different about it to make them kind of separate prints and a merry garden romantic little garden I think also they give like similar vibes but of course they're not using like the same motifs I feel like this one is just it's just using same motifs in the colorways of of other prints we've seen before like um like I've been giving all these prints three out of five and I'm like I'm also gonna give this one a three out of five because it's like not necessarily a terrible print it's just rehashing a lot of stuff we've seen it 
I've seen it before. I've seen it before you're not doing anything new with it. A lot of like lack of creativity. So yeah, I would not like to own this one. It's not, it's, it's not special. And the next one up is Dreamy Parfait, which uh, Diner Doll, Fruits Parlor, anybody? <laughs> like, I, I, I can't help but like, don't get me wrong. It's a cute print. The colors and the like all work together. It's cute. But again, it's very reminiscent of stuff we've seen before and not adding anything. So once again, I sound like a broken record at this point. 2017 is making me lose my mind. <laughs> it's gonna get a three out of five, but I wouldn't like to own it. So yeah, next, next dress. And again, we are on to the next dress, which is Milky Pony Carnival, which is of course in like the Carnival series. And I feel like up until now, the Carnival series has always like added something like Fantastic Carnival or like we've come a long way from going like Carousel to Sugar Gate Carnival to like all these different Carousel prints. I feel like we've always added something. We've always done something different. And this one's kind of like giving similar like style to like Daydream Carnival, but I feel like it's taken away, taken away from the Carnival. I feel like this is a, a a step back in the carnival direction like don't get me wrong the art style is very like cute and like you know carnival horses we love carnival i i used to work the carousel <laughs> like i spent all winter working the carousel i love a good carousel don't get me wrong but i feel like this is just a step back so i actually gave this one a two out of five and would i like to own it no I would rather have. I've been falling in love with Carousel from 2006, which is unfortunate because that dress is rare. I'm like, no, <laughs> dang it. And the next print is going to be Peaceful Sleeping Toys, or as I, I've never heard it called Peaceful Sleeping Toys. I've always heard it called the Japanese name for it, Suya Suya Toys. And I'm like, where? I like, I know they probably translate to roughly the same thing, but I'm like, peaceful sleeping toys, huh? I'm surprised I didn't mess that up, actually. And I was like, you're gonna mess that up, you're gonna be like, whoop doo doo because you can't talk. <laughs> but yes, so you see toys or peaceful sleeping toys is a chiffon dress, and I feel like it's, like, it's not bad. I actually have, like, the little washi tapes for it, which I'm like, yee, the little washi tapes. Gotta love a good novelty item. But I feel like it could have been maybe like combined with Daydream Bed. Like, it just kind of signifies the laziness of how 2017 AP is being right now. Like, we got two sleep related prints. You're really sleeping on this year, AP. But yes, I believe I gave this one same score as Daydream Bed, which is a uh, three out of five. And I would like to not own this. No, no, no. Had to recheck my notes on that. I believe I've seen it in person. I've seen people on my com um, own this dress. And I like, I've seen it in person. It's cute. I just feel like it looks like dream fantasy or something. Like doing that kind of more art stuff like I don't know maybe like border rooms I just feel like you definitely could have added them to daydream bed and made it like a room motif and stuff they're just kind of sleeping out into the void I'm just like eh. does not spark joy does not spark excitement <laughs> and our next print is going to be Bon Bon Bunny which I was <laughs> I'm sorry I just got like a huge flashback to Sailor Moon who's like Sailor Moon movie, and he's just like Bon Bon Bunny Blast! Something like that. I was just, I'm sorry. Yes, Bon Bon Bunny, I love, I, I was pleasantly surprised about. It gives like similar art style to Cream Cookie Collection, which I'm also a big fan of. 
but I feel like, see, it does enough new. It presents itself in a different way with different style, like different colors and different colorways and just like, it's got enough like stuff, good stuff to make it like new rather than like, di like differentiating itself still from cream cookie collection even though they use the same motifs in the art style it uses something different to make it a different its own print that stands alone which i really liked i gave it a five out of five and i'd love to own it oh my god i think it's got so many cute colorways and cuts i'm just like ah. so yes bon bon bunny five out of five and would i own it yes <laughs> and the next dress is Ribbonberry Bunny, which is our second cotton dress of the year, and it's it's a little bit busy, not gonna lie, but it's definitely, it's going off themes we love, we know, we stand. it's a border print, it's got cute bunnies, it's like, it's definitely got a lot of good things going for it, so I still gave it a 4 out of 5, but would I like to own this? I... Uh, there's like I well personally I have cherry berry bunny I have a lot of like ribbons and bunnies and berry prints but it's not like one of my top berry prints so I still give it a four out of five but I would not like to own this one I think but oh my god the bag though the bag can stay any time <laughs> me in a plush bag <laughs> I love the bag. Unfortunately, my friend Christine actually has the bag. I've seen it in person. It's so adorable. She brought it on a picnic, but unfortunately, I think one of the drinks spelled on him and he got stained. I was like, no, not the body. But yeah, the, the bag is super cute. I would, I would like to own the bag, please. <laughs> All right, and the next dress is Sweet Cream Princess, which is polyester. And it tried to improve upon Petite patisserie, but let's see if it, let's see if it holds up. It just, no, it does not hold up. <laughs> I gotta see, they were trying to like improve, they were, tr they had a second go at it and it didn't quite hit as I feel like they were expecting to. Like, it, I feel like the scallops look weird with polyester. Like, I think polyester can't, like, at least the polyester they moved and they, maybe this was just stock photos, but. The brown is really off-putting. It doesn't look like it belongs there. The scallops just in the stock photos looked very kind of misshapen and stuff, which could be, if they use polyester that's like on part of like honey cake, I would understand why that's not a very kind of movable, breathable fabric <laughs> for like shaping. It does not hold a shape very well, which is frustrating when you're trying to put a petticoat under it. Does not hold the shape very well, so I believe I get this one a two out of five still, so it's not hitting. <laughs> but and I would not like to own it, absolutely not. This is a sweet abomination. Get it out of here. And our next dress is going to be Wonder Fortune, which is also cotton, and fortunately does not give it. That's the only merit I can give this dress because I feel like so it is going off the series of like Wonder Story, Wonder. Queen, I'm sure there's a lot of different wonder dresses, but I feel like those have always done something different. I feel like this is also just going off the beats and not really adding anything to the Wonder series. Like, take Wonder Story. I love Wonder Story. Would red, wonder Story in red, please. Like, Wonder Story is so good. It's an Alice print, but, and then you take something like, there's a specific one I'm thinking of. I'll put the name up with it, but it's definitely, like, I went over it in one of the years. It has, like, an insane, like, heart, like, red queen collar that's on one of, like, the, I think it's the OP that has, like, the freaking heart-shaped queen collar. I'm like, that's a little extra, and it's a little, a little bit tacky, but also, it's just, like, at least they tried. At least they tried to do something different with the whole Wonder Story series. And that, yeah, I feel like I said the same thing about all the carnival, like the carousel dresses. Like, they always tried to add upon it, improve upon it, but doing something like completely different. Like, if you take carousel and compare it to Sugar Carnival, or even if you take like Daydream Carnival and compare it to like 
sugary carnival or fantastic carnival any of the carnival dresses they're not like they're in the same series they're in the same motifs technically but they're always i feel like most of the time doing something different that makes them kind of separate and stand out from each other so yeah i just feel like it's not completely like horrendous but at the same time it's not really adding anything or doing anything that the other dresses haven't already done before and it's not to say that like the motifs are washed out it's just i feel like ap isn't really putting the effort and putting in the creativity so i give this one a two out of five and i would not like to own this wonder story however call me call me wonder story please <laughs> and the next dress is going to be memorial library which is polyester and I feel like I could see what they were doing with the stacking like books. I feel like that's a very clever idea. However, I feel like it doesn't just, it just doesn't look good. <laughs> like I see where they were going. It just kind of doesn't look good. There's a kind of a lot of like empty space, I feel like. I think that a better kind of way to do like a library print would have been to have it like say like Little Bears Cafe doing that stacking border print that's like shells which I feel like I think a couple like other like library bookcase prints have done that but I just feel like that's maybe what would have worked a little bit better <laughs> yeah like I think I, I didn't I gave it a three out of five because I could see what they were going for I do like the colors but unfortunately it just wasn't hitting like they thought it would so I gave it a three out of five and I would not like to own this one. And the next dress is going to be Brilliant Princess Story, which is a Cinderella print, which is very nice. I do like the colors, although the silver ribbons on the pink version of the OP were a choice. I have seen this dress in person. It is pretty, pre it's, it's pretty dress. Like, I I think it's, pre it's really gorgeous. It's just kind of, you know, also, it does not like enough different, I feel like, to differentiate it between, like, other AP Cinderella dresses. But, yeah, it is a little bit basic, kind of by the books, but yeah. I believe I gave it a 4 out of 5, and I would not like to own it. It's just, maybe Cinderella dresses just aren't, like, my style specifically. But, yeah, I think baby does like a better cinderella dress or there's like other ap cinderella dresses that i would like i'd rather own those ones <laughs> but yeah it's it's not it's not terrible her last dress is british crown you can literally say the same thing about that i said with british keys three out of five i'm done <laughs> i'm done i hate it here i want to go home Alright, to kind of wrap this up real quick because I'm done with 2017. It's just a very uninspired year. Like, I feel like I, I just, I just, <laughs> I, I, I lost hope this year. I feel like it was one of the years I was just like very unenthused to work on. So I just kept putting off the series. Like, I, it was just a whole big mess. I... 2017 was just a lazy year, so let's see the final rankings. I have 110 out of 145 bows, which I feel like on paper doesn't seem like it's that bad, but I feel like it just, there was nothing I would like fight for, like fight in like a bloodbath for, like none of the dresses, even the dresses I said I would own, I just didn't feel like I would be like stab stab a girl for that dress <laughs> like no dress caused that kind of instinct that like oh i gotta have that so yeah 17 out of the 29 dresses were polyester nine out of the 29 dresses were chiffon and only three out of the 29 dresses were cotton so i'm just like uh, we're bumping down on quality we're bumping down on like creativity for sure it was just a whole all right, sorry for the awkward cut, everybody, but my camera died, <laughs> but I pretty much got out all my rankings and kind of what I wanted to say, except to add one kind of little bit onto it. There is a dress that I forgot to talk about, which 
isn't printed, but I feel like it just kind of represents what I think 2017 was all about. So <laughs> it is called the Belle Helene dress. And when I saw it, even now, it puts me in a rage. <laughs> <laughs> because it reminds me of another dress which I really love. It is not a Lolita dress specifically. It is the um, Point of No Return dress, the Amnita dress from the Phantom of the Opera. It's just always like kind of struck me as like a cheaper version <laughs> of that dress. And that dress really kind of like it resembles a lot more like Lolita elements and I'm like why would you pay $400 for this satin mess <laughs> for this gorgeous like Broadway costume it just felt like it just felt like a knockoff even though they're not related it just felt like a knockoff and I feel like a lot of AP this year was just that uninspired like knockoff like all the prints that I did like were just resemblant of prints that I liked in previous years so they're just kind of, like, AP really be copying off themselves, which is tragic. So, yeah, it's just, it was just very uninspired. And I'm, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Let's get back into the outro, everybody. The outro before my camera dies again. All right. Thank you all for joining us here for once again, another episode. If you like this series or if you like my channel, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you are new. All of that good stuff. And I will see you all next time in 2018, which is, it's, I've already started looking at 2018, guys. Trust me, it's a much better year. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for joining me. Bye.